Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. As the cloak of night descends, we find ourselves delving into the realm of the macabre. Tonight, we will traverse through the chilling corridors of terror, recounting the top 10 favorite horror stories that have haunted generations. From phantom hitchhikers to whispering dolls, these tales have left their indelible marks on the canvas of fear. So sit back, let the shadows dance, and prepare yourselves for these tales are not for the faint of heart. At number 10, we delve into the chilling tale of the phantom hitchhiker. Picture this, a desolate road, a lone driver, and the sudden appearance of a ghostly figure thumbing for a ride. The driver, decent to the core, stops to offer assistance. Yet as they reach for the passenger door, they find only the cold night air where the figure once stood, vanished like smoke in the wind. This spectral traveler is known to haunt the same stretch of road, appearing and disappearing at will. Some say it's a lost soul forever searching for a ride home. Others whisper of a tragic accident that claimed a life too soon. But one thing is certain, the encounter leaves drivers with a chill that lingers long after the phantom hitchhiker has faded from view. A ghostly encounter that leaves drivers chilled to the bone, the phantom hitchhiker is a story that lingers. Slipping into the number nine spot is the eerie narrative of the House of Shadows. Picture a decrepit mansion where the line between reality and illusion blurs. This is no ordinary haunted house, my friends. Here the shadows themselves take on a life of their own, twisting and turning into your worst fears. The walls echo with hushed whispers and the air is heavy with dread. Those who dare to enter this house share horrifying experiences. Some speak of seeing their own shadows turn against them, while others tell tales of dark figures that seem to watch from every corner. But the most chilling account is of those who ventured too deep into the house, only to find their shadows completely consumed, leaving them feeling hollow, a mere shell of their former selves. A tale of fear and darkness, the House of Shadows is not a place for the unprepared. Creeping its way to number eight, we have the terrifying tale of the Creeping Curse. This is not your run-of-the-mill horror story. It's a narrative that intricately weaves the chilling reality of a cursed object. This object, shrouded in mystery and fear, brings nothing but misfortune and death to its unsuspecting owners. The tale starts innocently enough with the object changing hands, oblivious to the doom that it carries. As the story unfolds, the owners of the object, one after another, meet with inexplicable and gruesome ends. The curse is relentless, leaving a trail of despair and horror in its wake. The object's curse is not a force to be reckoned with. It's as if the object itself is alive, biding its time, choosing its victims. It's a chilling reminder of the age-old adage, curiosity killed the cat. The creeping curse is a stark reminder that some things are better left untouched. Echoing into our number seven spot is the harrowing tale of the screaming woods. Nestled in the shadows of an unassuming town, this forest is known for the chilling unearthly screams that fill the night air. Legend has it that these are the echoes of lost souls, forever trapped in the woods. The screaming woods are not for the faint of heart. Many have ventured into the depths of the forest, drawn by the thrill of the unknown. Yet, those who dare to walk under its darkened canopy after sundown often meet a chilling fate. Tales abound of explorers who have disappeared without a trace, leaving behind only the echoes of their screams. Yet despite the ominous tales, the allure of the screaming woods remains. Perhaps it's the human fascination with the macabre or the tantalizing thrill of danger. Whatever it may be, one thing is certain, a place of unending terror. The screaming woods are a haunting reminder of the unknown. Serving up scares at number six, we have the enigmatic story of the disappearing diner. Picture this, a seemingly ordinary roadside diner nestled somewhere between reality and the supernatural, that appears and disappears at random. It's not your average pit stop. This diner with its classic jukebox and red leather booth is more than meets the eye. It's a trap, a time snare. Once you're in, you're caught in a temporal loop, like a moth in a spider's web. One moment you're savoring a slice of cherry pie, the next you're reliving the same moment over and over again. Terrifying, isn't it, to be stuck in time with no way out the diner's patrons, unfortunate souls, are caught in a perpetual cycle of deja vu, trapped within the diner's chrome and neon confines. 
the disappearing diner, a place where time loses all meaning and escape seems impossible. Staring into the number five spot is the terrifying tale of the faceless man. This eerie story revolves around an entity devoid of any facial features yet capable of instilling bone-chilling fear. Just imagine you're standing in front of a mirror and out of nowhere, a man without a face appears. He doesn't need eyes to see you or a mouth to make your blood run cold. His mere presence is enough to make your heart pound in terror. The faceless man doesn't harm, doesn't touch, doesn't speak, but his haunting image is enough to leave you trembling with dread. Some say he's a lost soul, trapped between worlds, while others believe he's a dark reflection of our deepest, most unspoken fears. Whichever the case, his spectral figure is a terrifying sight that few would wish to encounter. The Faceless Man, a chilling reminder that reflections can sometimes hide the most horrifying secrets. Whispering its way to number four, we have the eerie tale of the Whispering Doll. Now there's something intrinsically unsettling about dolls, isn't there? Their glassy eyes, their permanent smiles. But this doll, my friends, it takes the cake. This doll doesn't just sit there looking creepy. Oh no, it whispers. Imagine, if you will, the horror of a child, clutching their favorite plaything, only to hear it whisper dreadful secrets into their innocent ears. Secrets no child should know. Secrets no person should know. This is not a tale of a mere haunted doll. Oh no. This is a story of a doll that knows things. Things that are beyond the realm of human comprehension. A plaything that was once a source of comfort, now an instrument of terror. A conduit for the unknown, the eerie, the downright terrifying, the whispering doll, a child's plaything turned instrument of terror. Checking into our number three spot is the spine-tingling story of the haunting of room 13. Nestled in the heart of an unassuming hotel, room 13 is anything but ordinary. This room is said to be the dwelling of a malevolent spirit, one that has a penchant for playing with the minds of its unsuspecting guests. Imagine, if you will, the unsuspecting traveler, weary from a long journey who checks into room 13. As the night creeps in, so does an eerie sense of unease. Shadows dance on the walls, whispers echo through the silence, and the temperature drops to a bone-chilling cold. Objects move of their own accord, and sometimes guests report seeing a spectral figure in the room's dimly lit corners. These chilling phenomena have made Room 13 the stuff of legends and the subject of many a sleepless night. The haunting of Room 13. A chilling tale of one room you'd never want to check into. Walking down the aisle to our number two spot is the terrifying tale of the blood-stained bride. This chilling story unfolds in an old mansion where a ghostly figure in a wedding gown stained with blood is said to wander the halls. Her spectral form is a haunting reminder of a love story that ended in tragedy. Our bride was a young woman, deeply in love and ready to begin her new life. But on her wedding day, her groom never showed up. Heartbroken and devastated, she took her own life, leaving behind a blood-stained wedding dress and a mansion filled with sorrow. Now she haunts the mansion, her mournful cries echoing through the empty halls. She's searching, forever searching for her lost love, hoping to find him and finally find peace. But until then, her restless spirit continues to roam, turning the mansion into a place of unending sadness and fear. The Bloodstained Bride, a tragic tale of love, loss, and lingering terror. And at number one, we have the most terrifying tale of all, The Nightmare on Elm Street. This bone-chilling story revolves around a demonic entity, a sinister spirit that lurks in the shadows of your dreams, waiting to strike at the perfect moment of vulnerability. It's an eerie concept, isn't it? That the one place you should be safe, the sanctity of your dreams, is no longer a refuge, but a hunting ground for this malevolent force. The entity, famously known as Freddy Krueger, is not your typical phantom. He is a master manipulator, a puppeteer controlling the strings of your worst fears. He doesn't just haunt your dreams, he twists them into terrifying nightmares, each one more horrifying than the last. And the most spine-chilling part? These are not just nightmares, they have consequences in the real world, leading the unsuspecting victims to their doom. The Nightmare on Elm Street isn't just a story about the fear of falling asleep. It's a tale that explores the depth of human fear, the terror of the unknown, and the power of the subconscious mind. 
It's a chilling reminder that our deepest, darkest fears can sometimes take a form so real, so terrifying, that they can consume us, even in our sleep. The Nightmare on Elm Street, a tale that proves that sometimes our nightmares can become horrifyingly real. And there you have it, our countdown of the top 10 favorite horror stories. From the Phantom Hitchhiker's eerie journey, to the House of Shadows' chilling secrets, the Screaming Woods' haunting echoes, and the Nightmare on Elm Street's spine-chilling terror. We've navigated through the darkest corners of our imaginations together, and we've lived to tell the tales. We thank you for joining us on this frightful journey. Remember, when the shadows grow long and the night falls, these tales may just come to mind. Until next time, sweet dreams!